Breaking digital delay pitch shifter. This program randomly modulates the pitch of the left and right channels. The overall sound is different compared to the sweeping delay lines of most chorus effects. At low rates, the artifacts of the pitch shift can be hard to detect, but at high rates, the pitch changes can get very wobbly. Two chorus delay lines modulated by a single triangle LFO. The orientation of the LFO and signal phase are inspired by classic 80s studio rec device. Unlike that unit, the algorithm offers both LFO rate and the depth of the modulation sweep. A high pass filter removes low end from the input for a clearer sound. The effect sums input to mono and works best with mix setting mostly or even fully wet. An emulation of one of the most famous string synth effects. Use 100% wet for best results. The mix of the vibrato can be controlled, and about 30% is close to the original circuit. The rate control adds in octave down pitch to thicken up the sound. Works best with basic waveforms. This is a classic multiple delay line chorus found in high-end studio effects that uses six independent delay lines which are modulated. Choruses are driven by two sine LFOs with individual control for the speed of both LFOs. The depth control sets how deep the modulation sweeps. The chorus tabs are panned across in stereo and have subtle feedback internally. 
Instead of using moderated delay lines, this program has to pitch it with slight detuning. The amount of the tune is moderated. Independent calls lines for left and right channels made of all pass delays that would normally be the input diffusion section of a reverb. Chaining a few of those delays in a row makes for a cross between a chorus and very small room. An external feedback for more reverb tone. Each delay is modulated by one of two sine and force with control of the speed of the airfoil. The depth control says how deep the modulation sweeps. Fidelity changes the length of the delays and lower settings makes odd sounding rooms and cars. Four independent cosines split between left and right channels. Each is modulated by a random walk algorithm with individual control for the speed of the airfoil. The rate and depth control how deep the modulation sweeps. The randomness of the modulation is a secret of many high-end studio devices. Internal feedback adds fullness to the sound and at high levels imparts a small room type enhance. The pitch quality can be less noticeable compared to using periodic waveforms for modulation, but at extreme settings with lower fidelity the room starts to speak. Three delay lines are pumped left, center and right in a configuration similar to some rare guitar and electric piano effects units. Each is modulated by quadrature outputs of the same sign and form, with control for the speed of the airflow. The center control sets how deep the modulation sweeps. The hyper filter control removes low end from the input, which adds clarity and makes the sound less wobbly. Try 100% wet to. A pair of flangers create a stereo effect. The modulation and force are phase shifted in a way when the effect is 100% Classic tape machine style flanger with finger control to inject the output to the input for classic chart playing. The mix needs to be set 100% wet to get the full true zero effect. This is
chord type select between major, minor, augment, and diminished intervals. Use the fidelity control to set the pitch. The low pass filter does this now. Has effect uses the acoustic phenomenon of precedence to locate a sound in a stereo field. When two identical sounds are played but one is delayed, the first sound is perceived as the location, even though both sounds are clearly present. In this program, the depth control adjusts the delay time, which plays the voice of the stereo field. Detuning one side adds even more depth to the highest effect in the program. Fibre says how much of the detuned sound recirculates into the delay channel. With A phaser uses a kind of filter called all pass. Like the name implies, all frequencies are passed through the filter only in the phase response around certain frequencies is shifted. Chaining multiple all pass filters in a row produces notches in the sonic. With the more stages, increasing the number of notches and increasing A set of four stage phasers in series, with left output having the first four stages and the right output using all eight stages. The outputs can be used individually or as a stereo pair. In stereo, the sound will move around and the depth control sets the width of the stereo. Four two-pole resonant bandpass filters are controlled by two other flows. The filters are spread out in the stereo field to create animation. A large number of one-pole bandpass filters are spread across the stereo field, with two other flows controlling their volume. Each other flow has control for the speed, allowing for combination of fast and slow simultaneously. The effect is between panning, tremolo and auto wah. The drive sets the gain into an overdrive distortion effect. Tuning down the fidelity is a low pass of the entire effect. Tremolo is an amplitude modulation effect. In this program, the left and right outputs are controlled by the same and four, but the phase is said to provide an auto padding between the channels. Use only one output for classic amplitude modulation effect. The drive control adds saturation, and high pass filter adds sound sculpting options. Filter and saturation algorithm from Tiptop Audio Tape Echo programs. Three filters create vowel formants that mimic vowel sounds, and the filters can be tuned from main to email ranges. The output of the filters is steady. The effect is strong. Harmonically rich waveforms, solo waves. Use the fidelity control to change the range of the filter. If you just need all forms that mimic inner voices, this program has a pair of issues for the tuning of the smiles of the symptom to help give the effect of a group of voices. The effect is strongest to a simple, harmonically rich windows, like so always. Thank you for watching, and we will FSU in the next 
episode.